What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. So if this is your first time joining me, I'm a renovation contractor, also run this YouTube channel. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Devin Durbin and I'm here to bring you the tools, tips and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So in doing that, I'm gonna go over the Kohler four port digital valve. So uh, when I was looking to purchase this valve for a project, I didn't know exactly what went into it, what needed to be hooked up. Um, all of the uh, literature was very vague. Now you can download this in digital format. Um, this is their instruction manual to put it together, but nowhere does it say exactly what the connection is uh, or what you need to do or what to expect when you get this bad boy. So usually if you buy this from a supply house, you're going to get just the digital valve here. So uh, it is three quarter inch inlet. Uh, so these are all brass fittings. In order to uh, get to these fittings, you need to take off this Phillips head screw here. And then this panel comes off and it's really lackluster. There's nothing behind the panel um, other than a few clips. So you really don't have anything underneath this. <clears throat> so what you do is you pop out your clips here and they are simple U-clips and they just go through this plastic piece and hold the brass uh, the brass connector inside the assembly. So uh, these are basic fittings. Um, there's nothing special to them. Uh, I was probably overthinking it when I was going to buy this. I was like, what kind of fittings am I looking at? What do I expect and how do I hook these up? So in the, in the pictures, they, they literally just show this little fitting here. Now, uh, your copper will go over this and you can solder directly to these brass fittings. Obviously you take off the O-rings and then you solder directly onto these. Um, I have seen uh, uh, plumbers press directly onto these. So I think that's completely acceptable to uh, do a pro press fitting if you're a pro press guy or girl um, that uh, likes to use those. You can just press right on, obviously makes a lot of sense. After you're done and you have it soldered back up, you can reinstall them into the side of the valve and then just push your pin in uh, for retention. It's literally that easy. Um, there's an electronic control on the side that plugs in um, and then it will interface with your uh, digital control. Uh, I had a rush delivery done on this unit from Kohler. Um, I have this, but I'm still 90 to 120 days from getting the uh, digital control. So I'll do more follow-up videos, but I just wanted to make a quick video on exactly what to expect when you get one of these units. It's standard, uh, standard size to be able to slide copper fitting on it and then uh, solder it up. Now I used a uh, PEX conversion fitting. So a PEX B conversion fitting, I like to use PEX B. Um, so I soldered my, my conversion fitting on there and then I will go ahead and crimp all my connections on. Obviously you're looking at a one, two, three, four port uh, system. If you were to get a six port, it would be double this, uh, double as high. Um, each of these has a zone. So if you are wondering about the valve, uh, your hot and cold come in, and then each zone can be thermostatically controlled. So whatever you hook up to these bottom two outlets can be the same temperature. And then whatever, uh, whatever you have hooked up to these two ports can have a different temperature. So zone one, zone two. So you cannot have a different temperature on this and this, but you can have a different temperature from one of these to one of these. So each of your zones is controlled separately and on the controller, I'll go over it in the future, but this is kind of a down and dirty video about what to expect when you uh, get one of these or if you're going to order it exactly what you're getting into um, because no video I could find on YouTube had this helpful information. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Click subscribe, follow along uh, as we do more videos like this, and I try to help anybody and everybody out.